right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. Um, so Easy A LR Vegito Blue has been buffed. Um, we still are not able to obtain LR Vegito Blue fully Easy A, but they definitely made him a lot better. He is a lot better. Um, a lot of people never really quite grasp um how big the multiplicative buffs often are. Right, just a little bit of attack and defense on super or you know, when receiving hits or something like that, it really just adds a lot to the character's stats overall, right? So this extra portion right here gives him a huge buff. Um, and then the upgrade from medium chance to additional super to high chance to additional super, I would say is also substantial, especially since he is stacking on his 12 key super attack, which you really, really want to get, right? So LR Vegito Blue is looking good. Um, I'd say that there's a decent chance he's the best free-to-play unit in the game now. Um, I'm going to wait until he actually comes out and I could use him and stuff like that, but um, I would say LR Vegito Blue looks pretty good. I wanted to sort of take a look at the reaction here, because if you guys remember the original tweet, so this is Dokkan's original tweet right here on July 11th, and needless to say, the reaction um, is not exactly uh, very uh, positive, right? Like, people were not happy um, about LR Vegito Blue's Easy A. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I, I think this uh, would encapsulate, you know, the um, reception, right? Now, they did actually go ahead and buff him, of course. So I'm just curious to sort of see, like, what are some of the stuff that people are saying, right? Like, uh, if people are very happy and stuff like that. Um, lower enemy guard is useless, true, but it, it, it's not, he's not a bit better. I, I think he's a lot better. Once you add, again, the multiplicative buff, and then the medium to high chance is certainly huge. Um, all right, let's see what Goresh, let's see what comedy Goresh has right here. Next is Raditz. No, sorry, Goresh. Um, Raditz is as intended. <laughs> They're leaving him, uh, exactly as it is. All right, let's just take a look at some of these right here. Yeah, see, see, people are very happy, right? Like, you you could just sort of see the positive reaction that a lot of people have, which is important because, you know, I, like, when if you guys weren't around when this guy very first dropped, this was a global first, this LR Vegito Blue, and it's, dude, it's Vegito Blue. Um, I'll tell you guys, from just what I've seen around um, people watching the anime, people reading the manga, people playing the games, right? Xenoverse, you know, the reception of the movies and stuff like that. Um, other characters, like, are definitely hype. And, you know, people love their Goku. They love their Vegeta and stuff like that. But it seems like, at least for marketing and merchandise for Dragon Ball, Vegito and Gogeta carry everything. Those are the characters that people go crazy for. It's not hard to figure out why. Every single time Vegito or Gogeta comes out, like, it, they're just clowning on whoever they're fighting, right? Like, they're they're just, like, dancing on them. Like, dancing and prancing, and it's hilarious. And Vegito has his arms crossed against Buhan, blocking Buhan with his feet and stuff like that, right? Like, it's, it's obvious why these characters are the best, why they're the most hype. So, this guy's EZA being, he was the best free-to-play unit in the game for a long time. I, I, I thought he was number one, right? Like, you could check... I feel like tier list I was doing like in 2020 and I was still really highly ranking him, right? Two years after his original release. So this is one of the very anticipated ones. It just is not good um, for Dokkan to fumble this type of character. So I would say the decision to buff him a little bit more is good. Um, this does make him, I think, quite a bit more uh, usable um, in a lot of different stages as well. Um, I do think this current iteration of Vegito Blue, he he could he could make some noise in the red zone stages, right? Um, it'll be like, you know, tech Vegito Blue is easy, a, you know, Namek Goku, that type of thing where it's like, you know, if you're getting a lot of additional supers, if you're getting the good luck, um, you know, these characters can really help you a lot, right? So let's just take a look at some of the stuff people are saying right here. Uh, again, whereas before it's kind of like very negative reception, like everyone is like, throwing their hands up and it's really bad. This is like, you know, it's it's not quite the same thing. It's it's very positive. God Vegeta. Yeah, I to me of those four EZAs that came out at the same time. So God Goku, God Vegeta, uh Omega Shenron and Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That God Vegeta, he just pales in comparison to the other three. 
God Vegeta, he, every time I run him, he gets me killed, God Vegeta. Like, literally in my showcase I did the other day for him, it's like, I, he was going to get me killed, but I got the three dodge off, right? Like, we got a three dodge to live, so, it was crazy. Um, this is not correct. See, a lot of people, no disrespect to Fakuma right here, um, a lot of people really are not able to evaluate characters properly on paper. You know, I've definitely made a, a bunch of mistakes throughout the years about this as well. But it, the changes of giving him this and then giving him the high chance, it, it actually is quite substantial. I was arguing that he was better than people were even giving him credit for anyway, I thought, right? I, I felt like as a free-to-play unit, he was going to be doing some good damage. And again, if you got like the Namek Goku, you know, just tri like what they tell me, just triple super every turn and he's great, right? Like the same thing would apply to this guy. If he would be double and triple supering every turn, he was going to be fine even before. Now he's going to be a lot crazier. He he's going to be, I think, um, a very substantial option to help you out. So uh, I, I do not think this guy is mid in any way. I would run him over tech Vegito Blue on the current future team. I, I think that this guy would probably work a little bit better on the team. Uh, then Tech Vegito Blue. All right, so let's see what else we got. Yep, it, again, it, it's kind of surprising because I don't... What are the, the characters that have been buffed, like, after some time has passed? I mean, physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, um, when he was first tweeted, he was far worse than when he actually was in the data download, right? Like, they tweeted him out, and then they buffed him uh, before uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks actually released in-game. I, there has to be at least one other um, example I can point out. I know that some characters, like, um, uh, let me pull him up real fast. Th there's a lot of characters that should be on the Revived Warrior category that are not. Like, all the those, like, LR Kaioken Goku should be on Revived Warriors, and he's not. It's so stupid. The page crashed. Okay. <laughs> Great, man. The, the page crashed. I've been having this happen to me so often. I don't know if this is a me issue, but I haven't crashed on me so often. Um, It crashed again. Oh, no. There we go. Uh, This guy. Okay, okay. I made it. This guy, um, originally on release, was not on Revived Warriors, despite the fact that, like, the art is... Yeah, it crashed. Okay. But the art is literally him being teleported to Namek after being revived by Paranga. Right? So it's like, it, this guy needed to be on Revived Warriors. It was a huge deal. Um, Kaioken Goku. Uh, LR Kaioken Goku also should be on there. Um, <laughs> well, okay. I, we made a really big deal about AGL LR Gohan when he originally came out. Uh, you know, back in 2019. We made a really big deal um, about that Gohan, you know, his active skill condition just not being good enough. And they didn't do it. They, they completely ignored it, right? Um, but it does show that, you know, sometimes they do listen. Um, I, again, the Japanese player base, they were very upset, right, with this. They definitely do seem to listen a little bit more when the Japanese player base um, is really upset. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, a lot, of, a lot of goofiness in here. Let's see. Yeah, Vegito Sweep. Again, Vegito is, is big time, man. Um, people are always a lot more excited about the game when... Uh, Big Daddy Vegito is involved, right? Let's take a look at some of the replies here. Um, yeah, here's just, again, the, the link to the sort of like a uh, uh, thing in the news, right, that's talking about him. <laughs> yeah, I, saw, I love this. I love this. Yeah, oh, dude, that's exactly what I saw right there. Yeah, yeah. Vegito clowning on boot. Like, shit like this. This is the reason Vegito and Gogeta are the most popular characters, right? Gogeta actually just humbling Broly while smirking the whole time, right? Like, like gliding on his key blasts and shit like that. Um, uh, no, I, they, Raditz is not going to be buffed. Uh, Raditz is, uh, I mean, I, dude, I, I don't know. Uh, Raditz is definitely, uh, the worst Dokkan fest ever, right? Like, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I can't, I can't really like, tell you what, what, what we did with that. Um, all right, let's see what else we got. Yeah, okay, I saw this was kind of... <laughs> this looked good here. Uh, key is still too high. Yeah, okay, so his key is high, right? L let me... I should probably pull him up. Um, So what he does is he gives himself a bunch of key at the start of turn. 
you are going to be hitting that 18 key super attack every single turn, right? I would say it's going to be very, very uncommon where you're even going to be able to get his 12 key super, which you would want to for the stacks. But now, with him getting the high chance to additional super anyway, and you want, I would say you want to be giving him full additionals here to go for those stacks. Um, going, getting the 18 key is not really going to be that big of a deal anyway. Um, cause like if you get the 18 key super, then you get the additional super. Like this guy's going to be doing pretty solid damage for a free to play character. Like uh, the, the Ginyu force units are not going to be able to match this guy's damage. Um, when he starts double and triple supering, right? That is going to be really substantial by him. So uh, the key is definitely too high, but that's why this change is so big. And I have found throughout my time playing the game that there is a huge difference between a 30% and 50% in this game. It really, really, really does make a huge point, right? Um, so there we, got, there we go, guys. Like, as you guys can see, people are very, very, very excited with the news that LR Vegito Blue is buffed. Um, as for when he actually releases, we don't know yet. We should be getting a new Dokkan Fest, I think, on the 30th. Let me let me take a look at, um, prepare for battle. Let me look at the day that Super Vegeta came out, um, and then let's take a look. So, like, probably somewhere around, like, the 30th or so, because the next Dokkan Fest is the crazy, yeah, this guy's a year old already. That is insane. Yeah, it was July 30th. So, the next Dokkan Fest is going to be coming up in a couple of days, um, uh, when the data download happens uh, with whatever the next Dokkan Fest is, I think that the new EZ LR Vegito Blue and the final uh, stages to Area 28 of Quest Mode, I bet you they will be added in as well, right? So uh, let me know what you guys think of LR Vegito Blue and him getting buffed. But, you know, unlike before where everyone is mad and laughing and stuff like that, this time we have very positive news about LR Vegito Blue's EZA, EZA being made even better.